Okay, we're gonna try this again. See if this one comes out any better. Uh, fill up with a half cup of hot water. And now what I'm gonna do is up with some olive oil. Try to close the drawer. <coughs> Close these. Let's get it going. Drop it. Oh, I felt like I used too much water or something in this one. I said if I use too much water, to revert to using some more flour. But. This one's way more different than the other one. The other one I actually had in the refrigerator. So that seemed to change composition quite a bit. I'm just gonna put the two together. Just totally ruin the first one that I made. You know what I mean? All for one, one for all. So it does. Nice. Got it going good, and when this big problem comes on, all of a sudden it's your problem. <laughs> yeah, me. This is the worst idea. I had a good pizza going there the first time, and I messed up both of them. That's right. I gotta get out of trouble sometimes. In this situation, we're gonna have to take out the flour. Said if you get in trouble like this, you gotta take the flour, add some in. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Where is it? It's really sticky. It's really in the flower bag. <laughs> it's doing good, man. You gotta believe me. Just watch the first video. I'm professional. It also said to use more flour if you're at higher elevations. In case you're making a pizza up in the mountains. Totally a good idea, right? Let's make a pizza in the mountains. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll recover this problem. I can't see the solution here. Seems to be getting about the consistency I would use for a pizza dough ball. Pretty decent. It's a mess. Making a pizza is a mess, dude. I'll never forget that. Trust me, I've messed up like a lot of dough once. It's a mess. I turned it on full speed. And the thing was huge, you know? So I'm just 
pulling the edges. Oh, pulled it too hard. Ripped it. <laughs> too aggressive. Trying to fix it. I think we're pretty successful for like my first home pizza. It's not like perfectly round, but then that's kind of a cool thing too. Like a real pro, he doesn't care if his pizza's round, man. But if you're working at a pizza place, you better believe that thing better be perfectly round. Or else somebody's gonna get pretty pissed off. And it won't fit the box. All kinds of problems. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's pretty deep in the sauce. I'll show you how to apply the sauce. It's pretty easy. Go in a circular pattern, starting from inside, working it outward. Make sure you get it all the way to the edges. Now we're going to try some weird cheeses on this, since I probably ate most of the mozzarella before I decided to make a pizza. But a real pizza should just have mozzarella, that's it. It doesn't need any other kind of cheese on it. Alright, I'm going to have a little bit, so let's, let's put on what I got on. Special way to apply the cheese. The cheese in your hand. Get the edges first. Because all the cheese is gonna melt to the middle, so and then you use you just block the edges with, with your hands while you're dropping it on the very edges. It's gonna be great. At least we have mozzarella on the edges. Here we got a Fiesta blend. Why not? You could put any cheese on a pizza and it's gonna be great. You don't even have to put cheese on a pizza. A lot of people don't order it with cheese. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be considered light cheese. I got this other weird cheese that my friend left over here a long time ago. It's pretty funky. I'm gonna cut the edges off because it might be kind of old. Strange cheese that he brought over here. I don't know what it is. Strange. I don't want to waste it either. It's just. That's what he's eating this weird cheese. I'm just gonna feed it and they won't even know. I did see like a couple green spots on here before, so I'm just cutting all the edges off in case there's some green spots left on it. Not tripped out about green cheese, right? Let's grate, grate some of this cheese on here. 
could be like the best pizza ever. There's all kinds of different cheeses on it. It's a Fiesta, some mozzarella, some other type of cheese. I don't even know what kind. Some funky cheese. I prefer cheese pizzas myself. I just like putting tomatoes on there and that's about it. Unless I'm starving, then I'll just put all kinds of weird stuff on there. Other people usually order pepperoni. I like pineapple on my pizza. I'll, I'll pretty much take anything on pizza. This cheese is going to be pretty odd. Just going to give it the right little kick. Alright, it looks pretty good. Let's try to make sure you get all the edges, you know. Just don't leave all the red spots. Those are only going to get worse. Some more cheese over there. Alright. I don't know what it said to do. 475. How long do I have to cook this baby? It's probably like five minutes. Ten to twelve minutes, yeah. Because the uh, oven in a real pizza place is like six hundred degrees, so we're only four seventy-five. Pretty much like Stromboli temperatures.